Now, cutting-edge gene therapy has been approved for NHS use for some patients with severe sickle cell disease. In patients with sickle cell, a gene mutation causes red blood cells to become sickle-shaped, which can, over a long period, cause severe organ damage and intense pain. Amy Lewis is here with more on this. And, Amy, this has been called a game-changing moment. Yes, the correct. So we already knew that this had been approved, but now patients can start receiving it. As you mentioned, it has been described as being groundbreaking. Now, the symptoms for those who have it include very severe pain, serious... Um life-threatening infections they can receive and also anemia. Now, this is an inherited blood disorder. It mainly affects people with black African and black Caribbean heritage. We've been speaking today to one patient, Asiao Imam. She was diagnosed when she was three months old. She's now a nurse. She works, actually, in this field. She's 26, and she's been describing to us the moments when she feels, I suppose, at her worst. The meaning of crisis for a sickle patient is just pain like a very bad stabbing pain inside your body. So it, most of the time it's from your joints, but it could be from your back, it could be from your leg, and very rarely it could be in your tongue, it could be in your teeth. It's just wherever it wants to happen, it will happen. And it's just excruciating pain constantly. Well, Amy, talk us through the science bit. I mean, how would it work, this therapy? Well, the disease affects how people make haemoglobin, that's a uh, protein in red blood cells. If we just take a look at this, it shows red blood cells can become sickle shaped and stiff and sicky if people have the disease. But during this therapy, the stem cells are extracted. They are then genetically modified, as you can see, and then the genetically engineered stem cells are transferred back into the patient's body. The modified stem cells make healthy haemoglobin and normal red blood cells. Professor David Reese has described it to us as groundbreaking. I'm really pleased. I think it's great. I mean, it's a really, really good science and it's a definite step forward and it will help some patients you know, with a new option. I think it's most exciting because it is the beginning, really, and it's the, you know, there will be new and better and more uh, safer and easier and more effective treatments that follow on from this. Well, more than 17,000 people in this country live with the disease. Initially, around 50 people will receive this treatment a year. But as the professor just touched upon there, this is just the start. Yes.